welcome back to my channel natty sue beauty if you haven't already you should go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button down below um i know it's been a while it's always been a while i always make a video and then i disappear for like three weeks because i get busy and then i don't like paul listening to me so he's sleeping that's why i'm making a video um yes so as you can see my hair's like white um we're in the process of going all over blonde all over blonde white it's gonna be beautiful i actually let me let me find the picture of what we're aiming for because <clears throat> i'm very excited very very excited whoop so this is what we are going to strive for. It's going to be different. I'm already, I'm still not used to this. And like, this is so white and my eyebrows are so dark. I tried getting blonde um, eyebrow gel to do my eyebrows and that didn't work. Maybe I need to get the, like, the new Kat Von D eyebrow stuff. Or I just need to get my eyebrows done because they're just like super bushy and there's like nothing you can do to fix them. So maybe once these eyebrows get under control and I can kind of like lighting that, lighten them because my natural hair color isn't that dark. My natural hair color is a dirty blonde. So it's not bad, but it's very white. It's very, very white. Um, like I said, we're going through the process. So. Hopefully next session will be all over and then I just have to maintain that every six to eight weeks. No biggie. So, so today we're going to do what my version of an everyday glam look would be. So every day for work, so well not every day for work, sometimes for work I will wear falsies. I keep the eyeshadow simple, throw on some falsies and it makes it pop. So we're going to do an even simpler look of that today. And yes, I do have colored contacts in. They are, shoot, I don't know what color they are, but they are from Pixie Dust Cosmetics. Um, if you've watched my last video, I did a little bit of a review on the Pixie Dust Cosmetics colored contacts and their eyelashes. I haven't gotten any more eyelashes from them yet, but probably will. Um, so these are in blue. As you can see, they're very blue. So, let's go ahead and get started, okay? Okay. And by the way, I found this awesome new song from Backstreet Boys. Who knew that they'd like changed their whole vibe? At least I thought so. Let's find it. gonna start with the eyes first. I got mixed emotions. Did I finally find a river that can lead me out to the ocean? Cause I've only ever known the kind of love that leaves you battered and broken. So forgive me for my mixed emotions. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
If you haven't heard that before, you should go look at it and listen, because I heard it yesterday on my way home from work and I was like, ooh, it's this. And then I saw that it was Backstreet Boys and I was like, holy shit, I like this beat. So I just put some concealer on my eyelids so that the eyeshadow stays, but you don't have to do it because it's a simple look. Um, I probably shouldn't have because I don't care all that much if it stays all day or what. So let me get my brush. If I can find it. I got a couple brushes. Get this one. Get a little this little fluffy brush. I'm gonna find my other favorite fluffy brush. Oh, found my other fluffy brush. Found it. Okay. 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 So we're gonna go in with the. Jacqueline Hill palette and we're gonna start in the crease with oh this is so dirty um we're gonna start in the crease with the color where are you uh mfeo i'm gonna take a little fluffy brush grab some product some product tap off and when you blend out, you want to hold the brush at the end so then you get a very light, you can, it, it's a lighter feel so it blends easier. But I'll, I tap first and then I'll start to blend it out. This one doesn't have to be super perfect, but just blend it out. Go to the other side. This concealer, so this concealer is from Unique. I actually got it from Paul's mom because she didn't want it or it wasn't the right color or something. So I have it, not my favorite. I'll use it, but it doesn't really, um, when you use it as like a primer for your eyelid, it's kind of sticky and your brush doesn't move as easy. So like once I get this layer on in the crease, um, the next color I apply will go on smoother. Next color we're going into is powder. We're gonna use a little powder on the crease now. With a different brush, get the product. Pooter, pooter. I always dab and then I will blend. Ooh. My contact is burning. Must have gotten something in there or it's just really dry. Ah! It burns. Feel the burn. Oh my God, it burned so bad. What did I get in there? Oh my God. Pain is beauty. What the heck? Do you want out? You're not taking my sock with you. No, no. So as you can see, Pooter, <laughs> Pooter is um, darkening up that outside. So that's blended in the crease. Let's go to the other side. So now what we're going to do is I'll take Mocha and sometimes Central Park and I'll mix those together just to get the outside a little bit deeper, um, which I'm going to do right now. And this I just dab on the outside. I really have something in this eye, it hurts. Sometimes I make swirly motions.
I need to clean my brushes today too. Okay, so that is the crease and the outer corner. Now we're going to take a flat brush. I use this one, flat brush. Um, I will spray it with some setting spray. Why? To get the brush wet. And then I pick up the color Obsessed. It's like a um, really light shimmery color. And since everything else is matte, it works. So then I just kind of place that on the inner corner into the middle. Oh my God, this eye is on fire. I'm sorry I keep talking about it, but it freaking hurts. I don't know what's going on. I might have to take these contacts out. And it's not the contact, it's not like the brand. Oh my God. It's coming out. Holy. I'm crying. I'm gonna cry it out. It's still burning. It's not the contact. I got something in my eye. Oh. Oh, so I probably should take the other contact out, right? So much for looking cool with my colored contacts in. Oh well. All right. So now that I don't look cool anymore and super fake, let's just go ahead and finish. All right. So now we're going to put it in on the other side. I'm not going to lie. Most of the time when I do this look, I only put it on the inner on the inner part so like I'll leave the corner on my the inner corner of my eye and the outer corner of my eye I'll leave that darker so it gives it more of a halo effect but just I'm just not feeling that today I'm sure this looks like it's extra glammy and a lot of work but it's not trust me I wake up for work an hour sometimes 45 minutes before I even have to before I have to be there, which means I only have like a half an hour, 45 minutes or 40 minutes before I have to leave the house. So I wake up and I literally do this look every day. It takes me what, 10, 10 minutes to do my entire face, 15 minutes to do my entire face and then I leave. So very, very quick and simple. So I'm just gonna blend the back or the crease in the outside again just to make sure we've got everything what where we need it and where we want it okay now I'm gonna go back in with that first brush that I used with the lighter color and I'm just there's no other, uh, additional product on it I'm just going to use it to kind of like buffer and blend out everything else Oh, my eyes are starting to feel so much better. I just had to let, I just had to cry it out. I just had to, you know, get those tears of flow in. All right, so that's, that's that. Now, so we're going to put mascara on. I always put mascara on before I do my eyelashes. Always, always, always. And I just got this new Lash Princess Essence. Um, by Essence, it's False Lash Effect. Um, I believe this one was for dramatic volume or something like that. Because the other one I have is the purple one. And I can't see the writing anymore because I've used it so much. I used to hate this. I'm not going to lie. I used to hate this. When I first got it, I hated it. Now, though, it's my go-to. So let's see how this one works. It's green, so it's a different brush style. Hmm. 
I like it already. Just get them nice and coated. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for them to dry a little bit. I don't do the bottoms yet, you'll see why. And always remember, when you wear falsies, and you're putting the glue on, always wait at least 30 seconds. You want the glue to be tacky before you put it on your eye. Because if it's not tacky, then it's gonna be moving all around and you're gonna get frustrated, probably gonna get glue in your eye and then you're like, I'm never wearing falsies again. To save you the headache, wait until the glue is almost dry so then you don't have to fuss with it. Some people will even put glue on both eyelashes and like set them down and wait for them to dry. I can't do that because I feel like I just stick them right to my table and I can't get them off the table. So I feel like that's pointless. Also, I did a uh, fake tan last night. I don't know if you can see it on there, but it's super pat patchy. And then with the blonde hair, it just looked like a hot mess. So we're gonna have to fix that with some foundation which doesn't match my skin color anymore. But also happy Saturday because sold my bed set. That was exciting. I've been trying to sell it since March. It's June. Took a while, finally sold it. Pay, lost a little bit on the pay, but money's money. And it was just sitting around not being used. Okay, so I think we're okay. Switching up, or I've been using both foundations. I tried this Neutrogena Hydro Boost which I think is like Neutrogena's version of Shape Tape foundation because it literally has, it's like has hyaluronic acid in it too, just like the um, Shape Tape Hydro Boost one does. But look at the wand. It's literally a Shape Tape wand. So I've been using this. Unfortunately, I got it way too light, even without a fake tan. So <clears throat> I kind of use it in like up here, just cause that's usually where highlights go. Um, and then once I put the wet and wild on it, literally it all blends out pretty, pretty well. But I'll put this all in like the highlighted spots. It doesn't really matter cause I usually blend it anyway. That's crazy. should go upstairs and look at Paul and be like, hey honey, you still love me? He's gonna be like, what the fuck's wrong with your face? No. I'm be like, yeah, I just still love you. Cause that's what makes me me. It's me, me being this weird, it's me. It's why he loves me. I can, I can see Thor outside. If anybody has any ideas on how to get some, or a dog with um, separation anxiety, if you know how to help, please let us know because I can't go to the bathroom and cut my nails because he's gotta be laying right next to me. I'll put a picture in to show you guys. It's literally, he never leaves me alone. And then like when I'm not home, he's constantly up Paul's butt. But. Oh my God, when I'm home, like last night, I just wanted to relax and he was right there on the couch with me. On top of me though, not like just on the couch, on the other side of the couch, he was on top of me. He has major separation anxiety, I think. So like when he's outside right now, I'm actually kind of surprised because he's walking around the backyard, actually being a dog. Usually he's at the back door, you know, like shouldering it, like, please let me in. I know you guys are inside, but right now, He's outside sniffing around. So, 
baby steps. I wonder, do they grow out of it? Do dogs grow out of separation anxiety? Do they not? If you know, let me know, please. So, Beauty Blender from Tarte. So I like this um, Neutrogena foundation. Like I wish that it was actually in the right color, but I feel like it is hydrating, which is nice. But I also feel like if you touch your face, it's coming off completely. So it's, I guess you gotta wait for it to dry maybe. Um, but, so far my go-to, what I reach for the most is the Wet n Wild foundation. Oh my God, this color does not match. It looks horrible on the camera. So we're gonna try and deepen it. Obviously I still have to put like um, bronzer and stuff on, but. Oh, you know what? Since this is darker, let me do this one too. I got this Makeup Forever, the Ultra HD. It's a little bit darker of a color too, so we'll just mix that in there. So usually I wouldn't put this much foundation on, but trying to make my skin not look like a ghost. Okay, let's blend this out. I don't know if you can tell on there, but it's looking better in person. I put foundation on my lips because it helps when you put on um, a lip liner and lipstick. I look like a ghost, but anyway, so now we're going to take our concealer and put it underneath our eyes and all in the good areas. I'm waiting on updates um, for my cousin. She's having her baby, hopefully this weekend. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay, so we're taking the beauty blender. My camera's acting funny. So after this, we're just gonna blend this in and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face. And then um, when it comes back to the eyes, I will get back on. But we're just gonna blend this out. And then after you blend this out, you're gonna do your contour here, your dark contour up here and down here. Just blend everything out as best as you can. Blend, blend, blend until you can't blend anymore. Actually, I'm gonna do it right now. So since You've got your highlight underneath or your concealer underneath. I go back in and I take a stiffer brush. So I'm gonna take this brush. It's a little bit stiffer of a brush and I'm gonna go into the color Mocha and Central Perk and I'm just going to put that underneath No, doing this, nobody can ever make a cute face. I can tell you that. So you just smoke out those bottom ones and then you just put mascara on the bottom lashes. And then your eyes are done and then you can just finish the rest of your face. So eyes, done. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and contour and put some make uh, lipstick on and then I will be right back. All right guys, so I went ahead and I contoured my face. Um, I have not put blush on yet, so I figured we'd wrap it up with a little blush. A little blush and highlight. I can get it open. I use this rose gold blush. Um, I think it's really pretty and then I dip it in this other one that's in a NYX palette. I'm not gonna lie guys, I did my nose contour today and I normally don't and my nose looks snatched, looks thin, looks like this thin. I mean, I don't really have a big nose. It's just, I have like a Michael Jackson nose and I hate it. Oh, boo, I just messed it up. I don't hate my nose, but my nose sticks up at the end, which drives me nuts. Because then you can like see up my nostrils all the time. And when you have boogers, it's just not, it's just not a good luck. I'm telling you, it's just not a good luck. So now we're going to take this wet and wild pressed powder and I just kind of throw it all over. I'm telling you guys, this is really simple look. It might seem like it was really complicated, but like when you're explaining it, obviously it's going to take a little bit longer, but when you're doing this, it's so simple. Um, when you're like doing it and you already know what you're doing or you've done it before and you've practiced and then you just need to like throw it on real quick. It literally is real quick and it looks like it took a long time, but it didn't. I don't even know what time I started this, but it didn't take that long. So now we're gonna throw on some highlight on the top of your cheekbones. Really, you can highlight wherever you want. If you wanna hi highlight like your entire face, you can do that. You might look sweaty, but you can certainly do that. So there's that highlight on your cheekbone. Go to the other side. Oh, I put lipstick on and forgot to do this. Rough. Now we're gonna do a boop and a boop, an exclamation point on your nose right here. And then sometimes I go up here Hmm. Why? Why not? Let's just... Let's zoom in on the eyes. Ooh, not look good up close. So, that's the eye. This is the look, guys. Um, like I said, it's not, it looks really complicated and it seems like it took forever because I was explaining to you and talking to you, but it's really, 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 really simple look. So, um, you don't have to invest in a Jaclyn Hill palette, but since I did, I've been really happy. Like I use my Jaclyn Hill palette every single day. So there are a lot of different colors in here. I mean, it's more of a warmer palette, like um, warmer colors. It's not cool tone, but Jaclyn likes warm tones on her face. She doesn't like cool tones, but 
Um, I like this palette. I'm probably going to invest in getting a couple more from Morphe um, because I do like Morphe palettes so far. I haven't really tried um, some of the other bigger brands. Um, I want to try Tarte. I want to um, get some Tarte Shape Tape and um, actually I want to get their, their primer. But I would invest in a Jaclyn Hill palette. It's really not super expensive, especially if you're gonna use it every day. I mean, you're gonna get your money's worth, but just use the Jaclyn Hill palette today. Very, very simple. You can like play with it yourself and do different colors, but it's the same thing. I mean, you're just, you always wanna make, if you want your eyes to look bigger, you always make the outsides of your eyes darker that way it kind of like pulls everything out and then the inside is always going to be a lighter color so that it makes your eyes look a little bit bigger um but yeah so that's it for today i hope you guys like this video if you liked it if you didn't like it whatever let me know down below make sure before you leave you hit that subscribe button share this video with your friends and i will see you guys in my next video bye thanks for watching